So this week what I'm going to do is try and weather this one down. Uh, this is an old local that was given to me. I just use it for uh, track guidance and stuff when I install. Um, doesn't run. The innards have been taken out. So I'm going to weather this down to a really sort of dark, uh, rusted look. Just uh, some of the examples I used to get over in um, this Barry Scrap Yard, where they had like hundreds of various locos just lined up in, in dis various sort of states of uh, disrepair and scrap. Um, so we'll see what we can do with this, and this will be added to the um, scrap layout. Again, first off we're going to use is a bit of this matte coat, just paint it liberally over the uh, entire surface and then add in some weathering effects. Okay, so we'll let that second bit dry and see what we've got in the morning. So today I'm going to carry on <coughs> with uh, weathering this up. It's had an overnight to dry out. And you can see it's not too bad. What I'm going to do is just continue putting another coat of thinned down um, clear matte varnish just on the various areas and then we'll try and apply some uh, rust powders so I've got some um, earth brown powder coming uh, unfortunately it didn't make it for today's update but uh, we can proceed with just a, an old rust powder for now and then when that turns up I can just do an additional coat and this is just basically just tapping on and you can do it however way you want you can dab it on you can flick it on like I do or you can just tap the brush and let it fall naturally it's entirely up to yourself there's no sort of 100% correct way of doing it, it's just what you want. See much in there, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll lift this up. Should really get a turntable. There we go. So it's just a little bit of white, just to sort of break it up a little bit. And obviously, when the other, the darker stuff comes, I can do. Oh, where are we going? 
when the darker stuff turns up, I can do the uh, the undercarriage area, the bogies and wheels and rods and stuff. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry and we'll get back to that later on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spray just a thin clear matte lacquer on this now, just to lock in some of these powders. And uh, at least then we can get that bit done, we can get it put into the scrapyard. I'm just putting my mask on, because obviously in the lock and the stuff goes everywhere. <sighs> okay. Okay. That should lock it all in, so we'll let that dry and then uh, we'll put that onto the scrap area. Okay, so we moved it over to the scrap area. Uh, this is where basically this will live now, um, along with probably some others that I'll do in the future. Like I said, when the, when the other wear powders do actually turn up, um, I can always go back to that and just put in a, a couple of sort of dark areas uh, and again basically just seal it in with a, a clear lacquer. So many thanks for watching, hope you liked the video, uh, I'm trying to keep it as short as possible these days. And if you'd like uh, the channel please do uh, subscribe and click the like button below, it all helps. And uh, we'll catch you again very soon with uh, another how-to or maybe just a running session. Cheers for now, bye!